Man, I think I'm gonna call this one like. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna call this one. Let the sun be the sun, or I don't know. Um. It's, it's about 12 p.m. right now. I've been talking to Fred probably for about the past, like, maybe two hours. Um, something like that. Uh, something along those lines. And, you know, I came to him at first because last night I sent him a voice message talking about um, Ephesians uh, 3.20. I can't remember fully exactly what it said, but basically it's along the lines of, like, God is capable of exceedingly and abundantly more than we could ask or think. I'm basically saying that, uh, you know, we can ask God for anything, right? And his ability goes beyond our imagination. Um, and it's crazy to think about considering, uh, you know, the fact that I'm a creative you know, be it that we are creatives, we have vast imaginations and like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like to think that I can think so in detail about something, but then God can go beyond that. In the phone call I had with Fred this morning, talking to him about that, you know, at some point I started talking about the idea of being a creative, you know, me filming outside a lot. Typically, People even light things even when they're outdoors, when they have natural light. If you're a filmmaker, you've seen videos, you've watched videos, you've heard. Nobody truly likes natural light because of how harsh natural light can be, right? And, you know, in that, in that people, you know, when you have a gaffer or, or a grip or whatever, uh, you put up, you know, some diffusion, uh, you know, some 20 buys and whatnot, because you want to soften the light. You want to soften up the image, uh, the, 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 the light that's coming in. Right. And I've thought about the fact that I don't do that. At most, I put a, a, a black promise filter on my, uh, camera lens. As I'm telling him that I'm not gonna lie. I started losing the reason why I was telling him. And then all of a sudden it hit me and it was like, let the light be the light. Like let the light do what it's supposed to do, right? If you look at my videos and, and, and the videos that I've created, you, if you ask me, the 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 harshness of the sun is not a question. It, it still looks good. It still looks great, right? That sun does not bother me. That harshness, you know, that people speak on does not bother me in any way, shape or form in any capacity. I'm not trying to modify it. I'm not trying to dim it. I'm not trying to soften it. I'm letting the light be the light. The light is God. Let God be God, right? And in life, in any situation, in any predicament, in anything that you're doing, let God be God. You could never dim God. You could never soften God. You could never diffuse God. Like, he is who he is, and he will always be who he is. There's nothing you can do to change that in, at all, right? And I think that's just so crazy that it hit me in that moment because I think... Yo, know, we're, we're human. <laughs> you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I have to let God be God. I can't try to rattle my brain and understanding why he's having me do this or why he's telling me to do that. You know, why anything that he has me do, I can't I can't get lost in it. Right. Maybe one day or, or not, maybe, but one day it'll all make sense. Uh, fast forward towards like the end of our conversation. It's crazy how it came full circle. Um, we're, we're talking about it and we're talking about basically this idea of being the glue, right? I've recognized through um, over like the past maybe three to four years 
that I've been to, I've been the glue to like my friend groups, right? And what I mean is like my friend groups essentially have been brought together by me. I've introduced people to people. I've brought people into the same, into the same spaces. They're all from different walks of life. They're all from different points in my life. Now in 2024, he's having me do it again, but he's having me do it with a purpose. He's having me do it from the aspect of uh, building a community and, and fellowship. You know what I mean? Um, so we, it, we, be, we're talking about that. And then we come back to the idea of like, he basically Fred brings it back to what I said earlier about like, yo, let the light be the light, let God be God. And then I, on top of it, I say like, yo, again, don't dim the light. Don't modify the light. Don't try to soften it. Don't try to diffuse it, whatever the case may be. And I basically say, let the sun be the sun. And I re I come to realize, yo, double on time to let Jesus be Jesus. We can't do again. We can't change anything. We can't change that. Like, yo, the light doesn't try. Like, yo, let Jesus be Jesus. Just point blank, period. <laughs> I think Holy Spirit has been talking to me in a way that he has like never talked to me before just in the past like few days and it's been really dope to kind of like experience the Holy Spirit in this way because it's like yo in the midst of just talking about God and what he's showing us and what he's having us learn and experience and whatever the case may be it's like yo i'm literally having revelation in the midst of it like i i'm gonna be honest i don't normally have that but like i'm all i'm coming to understand that that's you know that's what can happen when you are tapped in with the lord that's what can happen when you are uh in relationship with the lord and you're connecting with him it's like and especially you know being able to do it with my brother like or my brother in Christ, like, like that's just, <laughs> that's just crazy to me. Um, and, you know, I'm very blessed to, to experience that. And I thank God and I thank the Holy Spirit. I thank Jesus for, um, putting me in position to experience, uh, to experience him this way, you know, to experience his love and experience, you know, his, his connection and in, in the way that he's uh in which he speaks to me he speaks to all of us like man god is good man god is good uh and i'm really only just like saying this just to put it in a voice note so like you know i'm, I'm definitely gonna gonna um make a youtube video about this so you know i can get that situated but i just need to get it offload everything into um something uh yeah, man. God is good, man. Man. Thank you, Lord.